Uh, hi students, uh, the last topic is equal area criterion. It is an important question uh, for your exam. Um, the transient stability analysis of simple system. Simple system means a simple ge a generator connected to infinite bus or uh, a synchronous motor connected to infinite bus. It can be performed by using simple criterion called the equal area criterion. Uh, but after occurring a transient uh, state or uh, under the influence of a uh, fault, transient uh, fault, uh, the system uh, rotor angle changes and uh, the rotor may increase to maximum value and uh, if it is settling to a stable value then we can say that the system is stable. Under such cases uh, we can say that d delta by dt equal to 0 for uh, any point of time. Uh, so for a stable system d delta by dt equal to 0 uh, and uh, for an unstable system d delta by dt greater than 0. Okay, then we have swing equation as h by pi f d square delta by dt square equal to p a minus p e. This is the swing equation. Uh, then this is swing equation. Then p a minus p e here we are taking because uh, we are considering a generator. For a generator, mechanical input is greater than electrical input. So p a minus p e. For a motor, we are taking as p e minus p m. Then uh, h by pi f is uh, taken as m because it is the per unit value of uh, uh, m m. And then uh, d square delta by dt square equal to pa by m uh, after that mm, then uh, multiplying both sets by 2 del delta by dt then we get this and uh, after uh, some arrangements uh, just rearrangement the do we get 2 d, d by dt d delta by dt the whole square equal to 2 by m pa d delta by dt cancelling dt denom on the denominator both sets then uh, we get uh, 2 into d by d delta of uh, d of d delta by dt the whole square equal to 2 by m p d delta after that uh, we are integrating this equation and uh, we get this like this and uh, taking square root uh, we get d delta by dt as square root of 2 by m integral from delta 0 to delta p d delta uh, we know that for a stable system um, d delta by dt equal to 0 d delta by dt equal to 0 means what uh, square root of 2 by m integral from delta 0 to delta p a d delta uh, equal to 0 uh, then uh, uh, or we can say that in the integral term integral from delta 0 to delta p a d delta equal to uh, 0 that is integration means area under uh, a curve so uh, for a stable system the area under the uh, power angle curve should be 0 that is the equal area criterion area uh, equal to 0 means positive uh, area equal to negative area that is equal area criterion and uh, then next we are uh, dealing with transient stability analysis for a sudden change in mechanical input uh, we are considering a generator uh, that is con uh, connected to uh, infinite this generator that is connected to infinite bus the reactor and uh, reactants in between them is considered as x then uh, electrical power transport p e equal to e dash into v by x sin delta uh, and all the equation okay uh, then <coughs> p equal to uh, p max sin delta because e dash v by x is the maximum value of that p then uh, uh, this uh, machine is operating uh, instability uh, at stability condition what is the uh, relation between mechanical p power pm and the electrical power p both are equal at stability condition both mechanical power and the electrical power are equal uh, and uh, p a should be equal to zero p a should be equal to zero uh, so uh, at point a the machine is under stability and um, p a p e zero equal to p m zero at that time and uh, the corresponding torque angle is delta zero but uh, when uh, the machine uh, mechanical input suddenly changes to a new value uh, by increasing um, by any adjustment in prime mover if we are in increasing the input to the prime mover then mechanical input changes okay then uh, p e p m zero shifts to a this pm0 changes to a new value pm1 uh, then what happened pm1 increases pm1 increases means um, pa equal to pm1 minus p pm1 increases means pa become more pa equal to a positive value that is accelerating power develops okay uh, difference power is acceleration power so acceleration power develops and the machine uh, accelerates machine speed increases machine speed increases and also rotor angle changes to new value delta 1 del from delta 0 to delta 1 the rotor angle changes then uh, as uh, uh, and at point b uh, what happened both uh, at uh, uh, with respect to the rotor angle what what changes electrical power changes because p e electrical power equal to p max and delta when delta changes uh, p electrical power also changes delta increases means p e also increases thus from at uh, point a to b 
with increase in mechanical input uh, machine speed increases rotor angle changes uh, electrical power increases the, and finally at point b both electrical and mechanical powers are become equal and the uh, steady stability state uh, condition is achieved but uh, the rotor angle continues to increase due to inertia and uh, it um, again increases to uh, new value delta 2 uh, but uh, with this increase in delta the electrical power again increases but mechanical power remains same so uh, the machine uh, uh, pa pa becomes pm minus p pe increasing means pa equal to negative pa equal to negative means acceleration power negative means retardation that is machine decelerates uh, then machine speed decreases the, so we can say that from point b to c in the machine speed decreases and uh, rotor angle increases so uh, and uh, at a particular point see uh, what uh, happened uh, the stability condition is achieved how <coughs> so uh, we can say that uh, in uh, we can say that uh, from point a to b the machine speed increases uh, the rotor angle increases uh, and uh, uh, the area uh, under this portion a1 is the accelerating area and from point b to c the machine speed decreases and rotor angle increases and uh, the speed decreases so that is the decelerating area for a system to be stable what uh, what will be the condition uh, the accelerating area a1 should be equal to a2 that is the equal area criterion From all these discussions, we can say that there is uh, an upper limit for increase in mechanical power input PM. Above that value, the system may lose its stability. As the mechanical power is increased and uh, the limiting condition is reached, at that point, uh, PM1 equal to PM1 max, that is the maximum value above which system loses its stability. And at that condition, and at that condition PM1 max equal to PE1 max. Up to that, uh, the system can remain in uh, stable condition. Okay, uh, so uh, correspondingly, the delta angles, delta 2 becomes the ma uh, maximum value of delta 2 max and uh, uh, delta 1 is delta 1 max. From this figure, we can write uh, delta 2 max as pi minus delta 1 max. Uh, PE1 max and PM1 max are equal and uh, that's again equal to PM, P max sin delta 1 max. Uh, from this we get sin delta 1 max uh, as uh, PM1 max divided by P max. Uh, then uh, delta 1 max and delta 2 max equations uh, are also good. Then um, uh, the important point to be noted is that uh, for transient stability analysis, the change in rotor angle is not important. Uh, the rotor angle may change us to 90 degree or become greater than 90 degree. But um, we have to, uh, the main criterion is equal area criterion. If the equal area criterion is satisfied, uh, satisfied then uh, we can say, uh, say that the system remains uh, in stable condition. Okay, but for uh, steady state stability, the system loses its stability when delta angle greater than 90 degree okay then uh, next thing is clearing time and clearing angle here a fault occurs uh, somewhere in between this generator and uh, infinite bus a three phase fault is occurred then uh, we know that the total power electrical power is um, transferred through this fault no electrical power is transferred to infinite bus so initially uh, we know that the machine is operated at point a and immediately after occurring this fault the point shifted from a to b the point shifted from a to b okay uh, then uh, circuit breaker contact opens and um, during that clearing time tc tc the angle changes to del uh, and it angle changes from delta 0 to delta c okay delta 0 to delta c and uh, uh, this is a transient uh, uh, this fault is uh, transient in nature so immediately after closing the contacts of the circuit breaker this uh, system regains its original condition and uh, operating point shifts from shifted from c to d sheet c to d this is electrical characteristics okay this is p p equal to p max <coughs> and delta uh, 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 correspondingly uh, this due to inertia of the system uh, uh, the delta angle increase delta angle increases means uh, electrical power input also uh, increases so uh, uh, mechanical power input is less and uh, the machine uh, develops a decelerating power 
uh, that means P A equal to negative. Okay, so decelerating power speed decreases and uh, from D to E the point shifts. Uh, but at point E, at point E, what will happen? Uh, at point E, uh, uh, for a particular value of delta one, uh, this uh, equal area criterion met, and uh, that time, at that time, A one becomes equal to A two, and the system remains in uh, stable condition. Here is also a limit for this clearing angle and clearing time that is known as cr critical clearing time TCC and critical clearing angle delta CC. We are, uh, here we are deriving the equations for both uh, delta CC and uh, TCC and uh, uh, what will happen if uh, this uh, clearing time increases or clearing time is delayed above uh, critical clearing time what will happen the system loses its stability so uh, here also we are considering uh, delta max delta max uh, uh, delta max as uh, pi minus delta 0 and um, pm equal to p equal to p max and delta 0 uh, here uh, delta c corresponding to delta cc critical clearing angle and uh, uh, pm is the maximum value uh, corresponding for that delta 1 becomes the maximum value delta max okay uh, then under steady state condition uh, we know that uh, uh, if fault occurs means pe equal to 0 pe equal to 0 so pa uh, pa and pm are equal pa and pm are constant uh, and uh, pa and pm are constant and uh, the acceleration area a1 is uh, integral from delta 0 to delta cc pm d delta uh, we go like this pm into delta cc minus delta 0 and uh, also um, decelerating area uh, we go like this because on integrating this a2 uh, on on integrating this um, uh, P A equal to P M decelerating area means P A equal to P E minus P M equal to P max and delta minus uh, P M. Uh, the deceleration area is uh, evaluated by integrating P A uh, from delta C C to delta max. Okay, uh, then uh, we get uh, A two as uh, this and uh, on equating uh, for uh, satisfying st 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 the equal area criterion means A one equal to A two. So on equating both uh, we get finally we get delta cc as uh, cos inverse pm by p max into delta max minus delta 0 plus cos delta max okay then uh, uh, for deriving the equation for um, critical critical clearing time here we are taking swing equation and uh, for uh, uh, three phase fault p as uh, substitute p as 0 and uh, uh, h by pi f d square delta by dt square equal to pm from this we get delta as this and um, uh, sub, uh, at time t equal to tcc delta cc becomes um, pi f by 2 h pm tcc square plus delta 0 and from this we get tcc as uh, root of 2 h into delta cc minus delta 0 divided by pi f pm so uh, this uh, all about uh, equal criterion uh, while asking uh, equal area criterion for 10 marks you have to write um, all this all this means uh, starting from uh, the stability conditions and uh, deriving an integral p a d a delta is 0 then um, transient stability analysis for sudden change in mechanical input and uh, explain briefly about uh, clearing time and clearing angle no need to derive all these equations okay thank you